Welcome back, watch fans. Today, I have got an unboxing, which is kind of interesting. This is a watch gang uh, unboxing, and I did it from their mystery wheel. Um, I have no idea what it is. Uh, unlike the, the normal uh, watch gang wheels, this one was done without any idea <laughs> what I was selecting. Some could say, well, wow, that's kind of dumb of you. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I'm okay with that, right? Because the whole point of me joining Watch King was to be introduced to new watches that I would never necessarily look for, either because I don't know about or I don't have the perspective on. So I'm actually kind of excited about this, right? I I ended up um, putting in some money. I think it was like, I don't know, $75 or something like that, or, or maybe it was less than that. No, I don't even think it was that. It was like 60 bucks or something like that. And then I spun the wheel and I got um, level two. So I have no idea what this is. Absolutely no clue whatsoever. Um, so we will see. So anyways, I won level two on, on this. And I'm excited to see what I ended up getting. What I'll do is after I open this up, I will then, I will then actually open the watch up and find out more about it. And I will let you guys know, do some research on the watch because I don't know what this is. Minus eight. Oh, very cool. I've never heard of this brand. I know nothing about them and that's exciting. All right. The packaging's pretty decent, right? You know, you don't normally keep this stuff anyways, but very cool. Oh, that is nice. Look at this. This watch is so badass. I totally like this. Man, you know, I'm going to have to do some research on this to see um, what I pay, you know, what this cost. But, oh, wow, and it's an automatic. Okay. Oh, man, I'm super excited. This is sweet. This is a Japanese Miyota movement. Oh my god, man. I totally got my money's worth. I am super excited. This watch is badass. Holy <laughs> Sorry, I'll have to take that out. Um, I didn't mean to swear. Man, I am super excited. This is awesome. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to make a quick video, which is what you're going to watch right now if you want to stay on. And I'll do a little bit of research and uh, find out what I can about this company and this brand. But I am super excited. This is a huge plus. Man, I love this watch already just on the look. Badass. Okay, watch this video. Hi, I'm Brett Lovelady, founder of Astro Studios and co-founder of Minus 8 Watches. Hi, I'm Kyle Swen, partner at Astro Studios and one of the creators of Minus 8 Watches. Astro Studios is a product and brand design studio in San Francisco. We've designed products for Nike, Xbox, Google, and many others. Chances are you own or have owned something that we've designed. We've also done a lot of watches. So when we had the opportunity to create our own watch brand from scratch, we couldn't resist. With Minus 8, we express our love of machines, the West Coast, and adventurous design. Hi, I'm David Whetstone, a designer here at Astro Studios, and also with Minus 8. The aesthetic for Minus 8 is inspired by the machinery that we use in our own work, and also the landscape around us here on the West Coast. So maybe we take the micro details from a CNC machine we use for fabrication and incorporate that into a watch case. Or we see a rocky coastline and translate that into knurling on a bezel or the texture on a band. Then we put these elements together in such a way that creates the unique Minus 8 look and feel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for helping us bring the Minus 8 Diver to the world. All right. So um, you've seen, you know, a little bit more about this company now. Uh, I'd never heard of them. Um, but I have to express again, I really like this watch. I am super impressed. I want to just get right into, okay. All right, all right. I've got to pace myself here. 
Um, this is a little instruction card that comes with it. Uh, it's quite nice. Um, I won't go into too much detail because I've already looked at it. Um, but I uh, thought you would find this interesting. Uh, display month. Display. Very cool. All right. So um, I'm just going to get right into it because I don't know what to do with myself. I'm kind of unorganized. Pretty excited about, I mean, this watch is really nice, but the very first thing that I um, identify with this is the weight. This watch has got some excellent weight to it. I want to make sure you guys are able to see this. I'll measure this in grams for my European friends in Canada. 195.7 grams. So that is a good, solid weight. Um, let me take some of these things off because I really want you guys to be able to see this uh, because I'm I'm just I'm very excited about this. I mean, gosh, this is I really you know I feel like I ripped off Watch Game <laughs> because this is this really is truly spectacular. I'm really pleased with this watch. Um, I want you to get a good view of you know what I don't want to do you guys like that. Let me open this up. I'll put that back. I want you to be able to actually see what I'm looking at. Okay. This is, it is a good, solid, and I'll go into more detail about it, but this is a, a serious, good, solid uh, Miyota movement. Um, let's see, how many jewels does it say? 26 jewels. Um, so I'll find out more about this movement, and I'll put that information in the movement video when I, when I display it. But... Um, so the weight of this watch is, is, is it is solid. Now, um, some of the things to mention too is that it's, it's a good solid, has the good solid three hand aspect to it, but there's um, other features too. So there is a day of the week and you can't necessarily see it. I mean, it's, it, that's just sort of the style, but that's okay. Let me move that out of the way so you can see. This is the day of the week and you change that by turning it forward like this. Don't do it. Let's see. No. There you go. Yep. So it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then for the date um, down there at the six, seven, uh, seven thirty location, you change it this way, and then there is also the day of the week, uh, the the month. I'm sorry, which you can hit with this, and that's okay. You know, not a big deal. Um, and this dial at the six o'clock location is actually a 24 hour dial. So it lets you know if the time is set to, um, you know, before or after 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So it is currently on my, okay. So it is, um, 1420. So I'll go ahead and set it. And that is spectacular. I mean, this is just such a great, great watch. Excellent, excellent uh, finish on the crystal. It is solid, solidly flush as it should. Um, let's see what else can I say about this. Is this sapphire? I'll look for some more information on here. Um, 100 meter water resist. So just to give you guys a perspective, I'll put a little chart up here at the top. Um, 100 meters is perfect for swimming. Uh, and you can absolutely swim with this watch. Uh, doing dishes, pretty much anything else that you may want to do, you can do that with this watch. Um, wouldn't go snorkeling with it. Uh, too many points of entry, really. Um, I suppose you, you actually could go snorkeling with it, because 50 meters is really all you need for, for snorkeling, uh, for swimming, but 100 meters you could snorkel with it. But I wouldn't go diving with it by any means. Um, layer 24, I don't know what that means. I'll have to look up some more information. Um... It's a Miyota movement, as we talked about. It has the minus eight. It's stamped on the side there, laser etched. Very nice. Um, it is also on the on the buckle here. And worth noting too, this uh, bracelet has excellent feel to it. It is. Um, these are solid links, right? One of the things that always drives me nuts are when I get like a nice watch. And it comes with stamped and rolled um, bracelets. Let me see if I can find. Uh, I don't. I, I can't find an example. I usually get rid of them as soon as I can. 
but this has uh, solid links, solid links. You see, not stamped and rolled. These are literally CNC billeted uh, links, not stamped. They're just cut from, from solid steel. Uh, absolutely excellent. Um, all right, before we go into any of the other uh, specifics and we try loom or anything like that, I mean, not have any, let's, um, let's go ahead and take a look at a quick video that I will do for the, um, uh, for the movement. All right. The minus eight layer 24 is powered by the Miyota 9120, a high end 26 joule hand wound automatic hacking movement. The movement beats at 28,800 beats per hour and features a quick set date at the three o'clock position with a power shock absorber for the balance. This movement is a very high quality movement from the 9100 line of Citizen Miyota watch movements. Miyota is a Japanese movement manufacturer that is part of the Citizen Group of companies. The Citizen Group's movement brand, which was launched in 1959, now produces some 100 million calibers per year in its various factories. Sagu in Nagu province is the group's largest facility and produces many of these calibers. The Citizen Group is highly integrated since it is also a major player in the manufacture of machine tools and CNCs, which it supplies internationally. Even the oil used in the machines is a homemade product. This integration allows Citizen Group to support the highest standard of quality, able to quickly detect problems and defects on assembly lines. At regular intervals, an alarm sounds and components are discarded down a separate track. The 9100 line of movements is available in a number of combinations. The 9120 maintains a simple three-hand configuration with hour, minute, and central sweep second. In addition to the standard three, the movement includes a 24-hour subdial at the 6 o'clock location, a day of the week subdial at the 9 o'clock location, and a month subdial at the 3 o'clock location. The month is adjusted with a pusher at the 2 o'clock location, while all other dial dials are set using the crown in the 1 and 2 position. Miyota claims that the Caliber 9100 offers an accuracy of plus or minus 10 seconds per day. Alright, so now you've seen a little bit about the movement and you realize that this in fact has a Miyota 9110. So I did a little bit of research on it because I wanted to find out, you know, one of the big things that I you always see people talking about with the watch gang is trying to identify if they are in fact getting getting value from from what they from what they buy. I think in large part people lose perspective on the point of watch gang, and that is for people who want new and uh, interesting watches that they may not run across. Uh, but in every case, in all the watches that I've gotten where I have run the numbers. I always come out ahead. Uh, the last one was the Hair Tour, and I was very pleased with it. Um, this one, I am super pleased. I mean, I just just for perspective again, I put in, um, I paid about sixty five dollars for points for the spin, and you know, on the face of it, it was like, God, you know, this is dumb. I'm I'm putting in money and spending for something, and even if I win it, what do I even know what I'm getting? But uh, I did some research on this, so just first on the movement, right? Because uh, I'm all over the place with this because I'm kind of excited. But the Miyota 9110 that this has, which is the 26 Jewel. Um, sorry, I'm trying to... There you go. Uh, the 26 Jewel for the Layer 24. Um, minus 8 Layer 24 is the model of this watch, by the way. Um, for the 9110, standard replacement price is right. Not even one that's customized like this with its own balance and finish uh, on the plates. The replacement prices for this movement is $136. Now that is um, more than twice what I paid for the entire watch. So I went looking for this exact watch and um, it listed out of stock everywhere that I looked, but for the few places that I could actually find that it was still available, the lowest price I was able to find for this specific watch was $525. Now I'm gonna do the math right here somewhere, but uh, I don't know, you subtract 65 from 525, I can kind of do my math, I don't feel like it'll put it at the bottom, but that is a huge, huge, I mean, I just won big time on this. Um, and this is a spectacular watch, 100 meter diver. Um, you know, this, I mean, what can I say? You wind it, you can wind it, it's automatic either way. I mean, this is it's a great looking watch. Solid links. All right. 
All right, I gotta calm down. Let's let's do some measurements. It's a decent size, not outrageous, but decent size. Again, remember, always measure with a plastic caliper. You don't want to damage or scratch your watches. Okay, 45 millimeter case. Now the bracelet's interesting. It's not, uh, you can't really measure the lug like you normally would in this case because it's, it's gonna be hard. Would put that at a 17, nope, 16 millimeter lug, but that's okay. That's just how it's designed. Um, and the, the size is 14.3. Good solid 14.3. What else can I say about this? Okay. Uh, this is, in fact, also a sapphire crystal, solid sapphire crystal, uh, which also accounts for some of the for, for some of the costs. I don't think there's uh, there's any loom on this, but let's just double check to make sure. Well, there is, it's, that's kind of cool actually. Um, I don't know that it necessarily helps. I don't know what you would get out of it. Um, <laughs> there's no loom on the hands, but that's okay. That's all right. All right, well, uh, this one's not going up for sale. I'm keeping this one. Uh, I really like this watch. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit about this brand. Uh, this was the Layer 24 minus 8. Um, please, if you have any comments below on what you think about this watch, uh, please, leave the, please leave them in the comments below. Ask any questions. Very happy to answer them. Um, if you like this video, please make sure you do a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. It really helps me out. I don't make any money on these videos. Um, I certainly won't for years to come. Uh, this is really just for fun. Um, it's a hobby of mine. So uh, thank you very much. Talk to you later.